the end is near. Everyone's ready. Are you? Go! Avengers Infinity War. I could do this all day. What is good YouTube, what's you here? If you're into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Avengers Infinity War, this is the channel for you, so make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to never miss a video. We'll be doing post-Infinity War videos, Avengers 4, Ant-Man, Deadpool 2, and so on so let's get into this happy avengers infinity war week so marvel recently dropped a really in-depth trailer i couldn't put it in this video because i'm not whitelisted by disney so it would have got blocked but it's kind of spoilery so careful spoilers so previously i said that thanos would be the one sending hulk to earth after thanos beats the hulk badly we already know the russo brothers have described thanos as a light gang Gan gangus khan stronger than the hulk which is kind of interesting. So this kind of confirms that we've seen it in the trailer, Hulk crashing down into Doctor Strange Sanctorium in New York. So Bruce is looking battered and beat up. I'm a bit surprised they've dropped this actual trailer because it looks like what it is, is. It looks like it's footage from the 20 minute clip that they showed some fans that went to screenings. So uh, let's get into this. So the conversation is between Bruce Banner, Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. Tell me his name again. Thanos. He's a play Tony. He invades planets. He takes what he wants. He wipes out half the population. He sent Loki the attack on New York. That's him. Tony. That is it. What is the timeline? No timeline. He has the power stone. He has the space stone. That already makes him the strongest creature in the whole universe. If he gets his hands on all six stones, he could destroy life as we know it. Or something along them lines. Doctor Strange, are you seriously lean on the cauldron of Cosmos? Then Doctor Strange with uh, with his cape of levitation does this crazy whip and it, it's pretty funny. If Thanos needs all the six stones, why don't we just stick it down the garbage disposal? No one can. We swore an oath to protect the time stone with our life. And then, I mean, I guess this is the humor that Joe Russo and the Russo brothers were talking about. I swore off dairy, but then Ben and Jerry's named a flavor after me. Start craze hazelnut, which I'm pretty sure is actually a real flavor. So this seems pretty cool because if you if you read the Infinity Gauntlet comic book, you know what's going on here. You know because they don't have the rights to use Silver Surfer. Then in this case, Hulk Bruce Banner is the Silver Surfer. He's coming to Doctor Strange's Sanctorium to warn him about the mad Titan Thanos coming for him so it's really cool that the joe joe russo and the russo brothers are pulling directly from the comic books so that's going to be interesting and the scene where doctor strange hits him with the, the cloak of levitation just looks hilarious to me so we know this scene would take place early in the movie thanos already has two stones this makes him the most powerful creature in the whole universe so this is going to be pretty cool but obviously doctor strange has a stone but obviously we know thanos is going to get it so during this scene we know that they're going to go outside at some point because we see multiple clips and multiple images in the trailer so we know his ship's going to arrive and that's how spider-man's going to get on the ship and that's how Iron Man's going to end up going there and saving his ass. So the human this looks kind of interesting. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I just hope they don't go over the top like they did during Thor 3 in some bit. But I like the humor. I mean, if you're going to be in a cinema for over two hours, you don't want to be sat in a stale movie. So guys, let me know. Do you think this confirms that actually Thanos did send Hulk to Earth to warn Earth that he's coming. Why wouldn't he? He's the most powerful creature in the universe. Why wouldn't he do this? And also, guys, I want to talk about this Captain America and Iron Man's beef. So during Civil War, it wasn't crushed. 
I mean, the Russo brothers did say something that insinuated they've still got bad blood. They're like, they're not really talking still, but they will help each other to save the universe. So how I think this is going to end is, I think main reason that Avengers 4 hasn't been titled is because it's called Avengers Disassembled or The Fallen Soldier. So essentially, I think Captain America is going to die because Chris Evans is at the end of his contract and he doesn't really want to renew it, it appears. So I think Captain America is going to save Iron Man Iron Man's going to give him his original shield back that he took off him at the end of Civil War. So essentially, I think it's going to end maybe Avengers 3, maybe Avengers 4. But I actually honestly do think Captain America will get his ass handed to him by Thanos. The the scene in trailer 2 when Captain America catches the gauntlet, it, I mean, Thanos is toys toying with him. But Joe Russo has said something, so careful for spoilers, guys. You can take this however you want to, but you could say it's a major spoiler, but it's not really. For us, this was challenging, it was a challenging telling of the story, but also completing the personal joining that we started as storytellers in Winter Soldier. So the story began in Winter Soldier and ends in Avengers 4. There's a very personal arc there for us. I think you'll understand our point of view as filmmakers and who we are as people when you watch all four of the movies together. If that isn't telling you that Iron Man or Captain America dies, I don't know what is, guys. So anyway, I do think Captain America will actually die. I don't think they're going to kill Iron Man off purely due to the fact he started everything off. I mean, personally, I don't think that MCU needs Captain America and Iron Man anymore because you just got to look at um, Black Panther and how well-received that movie has been. Everyone loves Black Panther. And when Captain Marvel comes through, you know Captain Marvel's going to replace Captain America in, in some sense because she has got a movie coming next year. So I think even if they both get killed off, it's not going to make much difference. But it will cause emotional state in the cinema and a lot of people will cry. But what's interesting is the movie was shot in IMAX. I mean, in England, it's kind of hard to get to an IMAX unless you live in a big city. I know in America and other countries, IMAXs are more widespread. But in UK, it's not exactly easy to get to an IMAX. But if you want to watch the movie properly, you need to watch it in IMAX as it was filmed in IMAX quality. So guys, let me know in the comment box down below. Do you, are you hyped for that scene when Bruce Banner is literally saying he's scared of Thanos? Do you agree with me that Thanos sent, sent Hulk to Earth to warn him? And do you think Captain America is going to die saving Iron Man? I personally think that's how it's going to go down. There's going to be have to be some massive twist right at the end. Someone dies that we don't see coming. And we've had TV spots with spoilery titles. I don't agree because if you go by them, guys, three big stars were already dead in this movie before it's even aired. I don't. I think it's just um, people that upload trailer clips trying to like clickbait you into uh, kind of watching their video. So, guys, be careful for spoilers all week long because technically... People can start reviewing the movie because obviously the critics are watching it tonight. So technically tomorrow night, you're going to get spoilers. So literally avoid any news to do with Infinity War Tuesday, Wednesday until you've watched it because people will be clickbaiting you left, right and centre. There's going to be endless titles with so-and-so dies and then it's like you've just ruined the film for me, bro. Why? Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe and comment. Join the Warhead Army, the War Stew Warhead Army down below by hitting that bell button. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. But I'm trying to get as many movies, like Avengers Infinity War videos out as possible before I kind of watch the movie later in the week on Wednesday. So anyway, guys, thanks for all the support. It's got growing great at the moment. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.